is the fossil at Pacific Radiology going in to be scanned. Uh, the fish is in that plastic tub there. The plastic tub is keeping it all together and there's a few other fossils in there including the bony tooth bird uh, just to see where the bones are in there. But today we're going to focus on that fish. What I've done now is I've taken those 3D files from the CT scanner which Leighton gave us and I've loaded it into this program called 3D Slicer which is a free open source program and over at the top here you can kind of see the outline of the fish over there. This is the snout in the front here and you can kind of see the teeth. Just, just maybe if you use your imagination you can see the teeth over there. I haven't cleaned it up or anything and I think this is the back of the skull which the eye socket would have been. And if I rotate it you can actually see the outline of the the box. You can see this is the box that I just scanned. So I, I took it in that plastic container. You can see the, the edges of over there. But what I actually want to see is whether there's an air gap between the fossil, the bottom of the fossil. Well, firstly, I want to see is the bottom of the jaw there. Uh, that would be amazing. So I'm just going to remove this segment so we can have a bit of a look. Let me just zoom out. This is a side view. So we can scrub through it, so imagine we're looking at one slice at a time coming in from the side and this will give us the best view about whether the bottom jaw is there and whether there's going to be a gap between the fossil and the mud at the bottom. So let's go into the middle, so we're kind of looking at the middle of the fossil here and this is the area we can see at the moment. You can see there's the black over here is air and the gray is kind of mud and the white is bone and this is bone we can see at the top there and it's curving around and I'm pretty sure I'm 90% sure that's the bottom jaw those are the teeth over there those white little dots there those are the teeth and there's a really nice crack or air gap between this fossil and the mud at the bottom so that's great news I feel a lot more confident about having to flip this over now Let's just see if there's any bone in that bottom sediment. Yes, I think there's... Let me just zoom in a bit over here. If you look over there, I can see, I think that's a tooth. That's a tooth and that's a tooth. And there might even be two teeth in the front. So two of the teeth have uh, gone away from the main fossil and are in the mud over there. That's fine. Uh, I was expecting something like that to happen. It looks like the bone is all in this other part of the fossil. So if we get enough paraloid, uh, the B72 consolidant, into that air gap, it's going to strengthen it nicely for us. And then once it dries, we'll be able to take this fossil and flip it over, uh, which is what I'm hoping for. <laughs> It's the moment of truth. <laughs> According to the CT scan, there's going to be a gap between the fossil and the mud. There's maybe a few teeth in that mud. I'm going to try and now carefully take this fossil skull and flip it over so we can see if the other side of the jaw is actually in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I don't even know what the best way is to support it. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll put one hand in the, the front area. Okay, it's coming loose. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. That's looking real good. <laughs> okay, that's gone really well. Well, that went really, really well. <laughs> Look at it. It's got the other side of the, the jaw over there. That's beautiful. It actually felt pretty firm. But look at those teeth. Yeah, that's definitely the other side of the skull. It's feeling, it's feeling pretty solid. You can see I've got a whole bunch of B72 on this side as well, so I was just uh, kind of injecting. Yeah, that's the front of the, the jaw over there. It looks really intact. 
Oh, that's so good. I'm very relieved. <laughs> I was half expecting it to crack as I lifted it up. Oh, I can see. Okay, yeah, let me just zoom in on the, the mud. There's the impression of where it was lying. And you can see there are actually a few teeth just inside the mud there. Yeah, there they are. There's one over there and there's another one. Those are the ones I can see right now, but no bits of bone left over, which is great. Oh, that's, yeah, you can't ask for better than that. There was really, really good separation between the mud and the fossil. So there's one, two teeth in there. Let's see if we can match them up on the skull. There's a missing tooth over there, and there's a missing tooth over there. And I think maybe the tip of that one there. So I think those teeth are probably stuck in the sediment there. I'll carefully remove it there and then <laughs> glue it back on there. Well, that's so good. Yeah, what a cool skull. That is amazing. Look at that big bone sticking out at the top there. Uh, this is the articular. We saw the articular on the other side. So we've got both of them. Yeah, we've got a really nice section of jaw on each side with the teeth. It's looking like a, a barracuda or a gem fish. It's got that long, narrow jaw. It's a bit of an underbite. You can see this bottom jaw is going further than the upper jaw. And it's got a few big fangs at the front there. That is so cool. <laughs> it's gone really well. It could have, this could have been a disaster, but yeah. <laughs> it's looking pretty solid. I'm not gonna hold it for too long because I want to get some more B72 in there, but here's the one side. And there's the other side. <laughs> How cool is that? I am stoked. What a cool fossil. I was not expecting this. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more. I can see a few cracks that I need to fill in with B72. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for joining me on this adventure. <laughs> it's turned out really well. It could have been a disaster, but yeah, this is a cool skull. Stay safe, I'll see you on the next hunt. There's a worrying crack right over there and it's going quite deep and to stabilize the fossil and strengthen it I'm going to put some of this B72 in there. It's a type of plastic that I've dissolved in acetone and when I put it in there it should go down into that crack. Oop. Trying to do it through the camera's viewfinder so it's a little bit difficult but yeah it's going into that crack uh, the acetone is going to evaporate so I'm wearing a mask and then the plastic will stay behind and strengthen the fossil. So I've been doing that all over this fossil. Everywhere I see a small crack and the stuff is reversible. <laughs>